So the story of Last Chance Corral is a very interesting one. And I, I think worthy of something like, say, NPR or This American Life, for example. In fact, that's what we should do. We will record an episode to submit to This American Life, since they take submissions. Yes. All right? Now, just to have some fun with it, I'm going to play the part of Ira Glass. Have you listened to This American Life, my love? No, I have not. I'll have to show you an episode, but... Uh, so, This American Life is one of my personal favorite shows on NPR. Yep. And one of the reasons why is because of the host, Ira Glass. He is an absolutely marvelous radio host. I take a lot of inspiration from him. I've listened to probably around a thousand hours of his podcast. He is so good at what he does. He is as good at podcasting as you are at woodworking. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. Now... Ira Glass, I'm sure will listen to this podcast because I'm going to send it to him directly. Are you recording? Of course. Okay. Now, Ira Glass, I think that your work... That's some great audio in the background. Thank you, my love. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're only recording for NPR. It's fine. Right here, let me, let me give some sounds as well. <laughs> Perfect for the radio audience. Got it. We'll edit it out. We'll edit it down anyway. I know. It's fine, my love. Don't worry about it. Okay? Obviously, I will be editing this before I send it to the most famous radio host on NPR. Ira Glass. Yes. The most famous one, because he's been doing it for 25 years. Yes. Okay? Like, you know Prairie Home Companion, right? No, I do not. Oh my god. I thought you listened to NPR! I, I what have... kind of NPR fan are you if you do not know Ira Glass? I, um... And the Prairie Home Companion? I usually listen to it at like 6 in the morning and... That's when Prairie Home Companion came on! At really weird times of day because nobody cared about it but weird people. Like you and I. Anyway. Sorry, I'm getting off track. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> so I'm going to play the character of Ira Glass for our show. Now for this specific episode, okay? Now, what I've been building up to... And I, I got a little bit distracted by you blowing your nose extremely loudly on, on, on recording. Uh, okay. But... The thing that I love about Ira Glass... And the, uh... And, uh, This American Life. The thing, the thing that I love about This American Life and Ira Glass is that... Ira Glass has the... And, and Ira, I say this with love. Okay? I do not say this to criticize. I say this with love. Ira, you have a terrible voice for radio. You might be the worst host on NPR, but that's what makes you so charming. I love your work, Mr. Glass. You are a genius. And I take so much inspiration from you. But uh, I take inspiration from the storytelling aspect, not from your voice. So, I'm going to play the character of Ira Glass for our show. Are you ready? Okay. Now, you are going to play the part of the audience. Okay? You are the okay. point of view character. Okay? You got it. You are the Luke Skywalker. Ah. I'm the Obi-Wan. Okay? You got it? Mm. What? Zoom. Zoom? Zoom. Okay. Lightsaber noises. Oh! Okay. I see. That's what you're trying to do. Got it. Okay. Warm glow candle outlet store. Sorry. Distraction. <laughs> Alright. Wow, we spit our in the middle of nowhere. A little bit. That's fine. Alright, you ready? 
<coughs> now I'm going to pause the recording. We're going to do a quick ad break. And then I'm going to come back on as Ira Glass for NPR. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. For This American Life, I'm Ira Glass. On today's episode of This American Life, we tell the story of Last Chance Corral. Last Chance Corral. My name is Ira Glass, by the way. Last Chance Corral is a charity located in Athens, Ohio. A beautiful, charming town in the middle of cornfields. Now, with me here, I have a person who would like to work at Last Chance Corral. Yes. His name is Sir Labrador. There you go. Sir Labrador, welcome to the podcast. Hello, audience. How are you? You can call me Ira. You can call me Mr. Glass. You can call me Nasal Weird Face. I'm Ira Glass. So, what is the story of Last Chance Corral? Labrador, I'm so glad you asked me that question. I'm Ira Glass. This is NPR. The story of Last Chance Corral begins over 30 years ago with one, with the story, okay, I'm Ira Glass, this is NPR. The story of Last Chance Corral begins, (laughs) sorry, (laughs) okay, that'll be an outtake, okay, here we go. Okay. The story of Last Chance Corral begins over 30 years ago with the inspiring story of a woman named Victoria. Victoria has had a lifelong love of horses. Of course, we will be... Watch out for this truck. It's driving erratically. Okay, we'll start that segment again. Okay, here we go. This is live. Hooray. (laughs) We will edit all of this out, obviously. Okay, here we go. You're listening to This American Life on National Public Radio. I'm Ira Glass. A day on the program, the story of Last Chance Corral, told in three parts. Part number one. How did Last Chance Corral come to be? Our story begins in the cornfields of Athens, Ohio. A small, nondescript town, not unlike every other small, nondescript town that I fly over in my private jet. I'm Ira Glass. This is NPR. He probably doesn't actually have a private jet. I'm just making fun of him because it's very fun. Last Chance Corral was started over 30 years ago by a beautiful, inspiring woman named Victoria. Of course, we will be interviewing her later in the show. Now, Victoria had a lifelong dream. A lifelong dream to start her very own horse rescue charity. Now, Sir Labrador. Yes? 
I have a question for you. My name's Ira Glass, by the way. Yes. This is NPR. Yes, and? National Public Radio. Yes, and? Well, you're learning. Well done. Good boy. I'm Ira Glass. This is NPR. (laughs) Does he actually do that? Yes! It's so funny! Why? I don't know, but it's so eminently mockable! Everyone on Earth makes fun of him for it, and he loves it. It's great. It's probably part of his bit. Yes! Why? I don't know. Let's ask him. <laughs> Ira, come on my show. I would love to interview you. You are fucking amazing, my friend. Okay, now let's get back into character. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. I love how you were just running around Awesome, it's just some crazy tank. I don't think this thing can go 70. That's a good thing. I don't want it to go 70. 70 means my bones break. Fair enough. Roll cage. 55 miles an hour means my bones do not break. This is a positive thing. Okay, let's get back into character. Arr. We have six minutes. Let's finish up the segment. Okay. <clears throat> You're listening to This American Life on National Public Radio. My name's Ari Glass. Our story begins in the cornfields of Athens, Ohio. A cornfield not unlike cornfields all over the United States. Cornfields. I'm Ira Glass. The subject of our story today, Victoria, had a lifelong dream of starting her very own nurse mole... God damn it. Okay, let's try that again. Nurse and mole? Genius. Nurse Fall is the word you're looking for. Nurse Mare Full Rescue. It is very difficult to say. I'm sorry. Let me try that again. I'm Ira Glass. This is NPR. The subject of our story today, named Victoria, had the lifelong dream of starting her very own Nurse Mare Full Rescue. I'm Eric Glass. This is NPR, National Public Radio. You're listening to This American Life. Yeah, now, maybe there's a reason why you listen to this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> this is the opposite of TikTok. <laughs> if you if you were going to put on a spectrum, TikTok on one side is a ten in terms of appealing to ADHD. At negative five billion <laughs> is this American life and Prairie Home Companion. You could not get farther away from ADHD if you tried. <laughs> it's great. And by the way, I'm Ira Glass. Oh my this god. This is it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Much prefer listening to uh what the fuck's your face? You prefer listening to what's the f- <clears throat> All right, so tell me the character. Tell me about this character. What's the fuck's her face is the character that I'm going to play now. The character is... Uh, we keep mocking her as well. The uh... <laughs> Terry Gross? Terry Gross, yes. Guys, chill out. Fucking cheap. It's a crossbred between the... <laughs> Everyone's like, I need to go fast, guys. This thing's a fucking crossbred between it. I don't even think I'm in the right. Yeah, I, I gotta figure out what the hell this thing is. Well, and how to use it, darling. The thing you just pointed to is called the gear shift. It is. Oh. 
It also has a gear shift for driving off-road. Oh, so don't touch it. Please do not, unless you know what you are doing. I do not. Well then, let's get to a hotel and sleep and then figure it out. Okay. All right, we have three minutes to finish our segment. Okay. Are you ready? I'm Terry Crews. Take exit 150. Terry Crews? <laughs> yes! All right, you be Terry Crews, I'll be Terry Gross. Ready? Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Fresh Air. This is Terry Gross. This is in Radio. <laughs> <I'm> <clears throat> Today we're talking with Victoria, a person who created her very own left onto Crossroad Commons Boulevard, a, per- Drive. a person who created her very own horse rescue in Athens, Ohio. Welcome to the program, Mr. Terry Cruz. <laughs> Please don't do a racist voice. Terry Cruz. He's a black man. Do not do a racist impression. Wait, he is? Yeah! Oh my god. Do you not know who Terry Cruz is? No. Okay. So we will not have you play the character of Terry Cruz because you do not know anything about him. Fair enough. What is a person? Any person that you can play the character of? Doggo. Okay. Hello, my name is Terry Gross. This is Fresh Air. Today we are interviewing a sleepy doggo. Hello. I'm in the wrong lane. We're going to go to Quality Inn and Suites, so you're going to need to get back into the left hand lane. Yep. And I'm going to stop recording. <laughs> we'll pick this back up later. <laughs> I'm sure everyone listening can tell we've been up for 30 hours. <laughs> I'm sure it's very difficult to tell. We hide it so well. <laughs> we, need to sleep. we really do. This is a pretty big hotel in the middle of nowhere, so I would be shocked if they are full. But it is possible. Uh-huh. If they are full, we will rest in the lobby for a bit in the air conditioning and then continue on our way. Okay? Your destination is on the right. And that's the end of This American Life I'm so glad you listened to our story in three parts today My name's Ira Glass This is NPR National Public Radio Our sponsor today was Harry's Razors Harry's For when you're Harry, get Harry's